Yep. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick demo here on how to properly time the camshafts on a Sportster engine. Although we're using rubber mounted motors here, these are 2012s and a couple 2014s. The, the process has really been the same for years. It's just a matter of lining up dots. It's even real similar to the Evo where you line up a breather gear, the crankshaft, and the single cam. So this can look intimidating, but it's really a pretty simple process. Uh, we're gonna take a look here at the way the last mechanic put this together, and we believe that it is uh, wrong and that it is not timed correctly. The other thing that we are using is a service manual to verify that this is correct. And I'll just show you real briefly in the manual here. We need to base everything off the crankshaft. So from the crankshaft is gonna drive this cam. This cam drives this one, this and this one, and then this one drives this one. You can see it's just a matter of lining up marks. Nothing real uh, hard to do there. But to get the engine in the proper position, we also need to take this timing mark off the crank, moving it, uh, pointing up in that direction. I'm gonna go ahead here. And I'm going to zoom in here. A quick note while I fast forward here. Always check and double check if you're going to deem something to be incorrect. Can you see how it's not timed correctly? If I have this cam off, what's it doing to all the rest? They're all off. They're all off. Okay, look at how bad it is. How dramatically off the timing is on these. Okay, so we got to be good, we got to be cracked on that base cam to start with, and I'll show you what a simple process. All right, for the service manual, we're going to take the crankshaft mark, and they're telling us to line it up in the center line of the bushing. If you're unsure where your center line is, you can see here, I can use this straight edge to give myself a view of being right in the middle of the bushing. If you find yourself thinking, wow, that's a cool idea to use a straight edge, in this manner, check out our playlist for every mechanic should know for many more useful tips. Okay, now for the manual, we start to install the cams in the rest of the case here. So they tell us to start with the rear exhaust here. We're going to take this mark. There's nothing geared on this one right now, but we're going to do the same thing where we do the center line. Okay, and if this takes a couple times to dial it in, that's fine. Then we do the Front intake, same thing, line this up with the center line, and we're going to match up our dots here, check my work because you saw as I was wiggling these gears around I don't know if you noticed this back exhaust it moved quite a bit on me yeah. and I tried to put it back where I thought it was going to be okay so let's look here pinion gear to the rear intake cam to the rear exhaust and we have an O lined up with the the two intake cams and then moving on finally for the intake of the exhaust with the dots, but that is how you line it up.